Hi guys, it's Vedan Spikste here and today I'm bringing you a Google camera port from the country of Brazil. So you know about Brazil guys, the home of soccer. They won the World Cup five times and Brazil also is the country of Pelé, Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, the country of Caipirinha and the big nice carnivals we all see there. Nice beautiful nature etc but also Brazil is a very big country and apparently they have good motors too so today I'm bringing you the Hypercam Release 3 all right guys so you might remember this was the first Hypercam video that I did some time ago and since that I think I did another one. Several days I got a message from Haresh Venga who asked me, Hi, VST, are you planning on doing more Hypercam videos? There has been a few new updates to it and there isn't much English speaking YouTubers doing reviews on it. So I was thinking, can we do a new video about Hypercam? And uh, honestly, the answer is yes, we can. So guys, let's just see what is the latest version of Hypercam, one of the best out there. You know, I even to this day, you know, just have the camera from Uranix and the Hypercam. So stay with us for the whole video and we're gonna check the latest Hypercam and all the new features added. If you like my videos, you can subscribe, you can subscribe for my subscribe channel by clicking on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thank you. So yes, Haresh, I think you can be happy right now because that's what you're gonna do. Uh, Alright, guys, we're gonna go to the Telegram channel of Hypercam. So I usually suggest to everybody, if you want to see the latest news about, you know, Google Camera, etc. for your specific device, then Telegram uh, alongside with XDA are the best sources out there. And as we can see, we have a Hypercam version at 3 right? Now the problem is, that's not English guys, and I'm not so good with Spanish and Portuguese and etc. But luckily we have Google Translate, so Hypercam at 3 So let's see all the new things in English. So merge functions with Hyper S. It says that the S version will not be continued. As you know already, there has been hyper Hypercam versions E and R, probably there is also the S. Added a new gamma and tone map control, toned curves, black level control, shadows and light. Removed all lips to decrease APK size. Only kept lip hacks in TXT. Added new lips, hex text overkill by six arm press among others. Menu focus control with changing user control distances. Reorganization of image processing menu, saturation, sharpness, curves and gamma are in the same menu. Other functions to include vignette in photos and remove the Samsung API to no effective gain found. So I think this is just like a rough translation, but let's go directly and download the latest Hypercam A3 and see what this beast can do and just do a review. All right, guys, very important going back to the Hypercam E3 release. Currently there are like three versions. So what we are looking now here is the Hypercam A3 for Android 10 or Android Q. Then apparently there is the Hypercam E3 for Android Pi, which is Android 9. And then apparently there is also the Hypercam E3 for OnePlus 5, whatever, I mean, if you use OnePlus 5, perhaps that's for you. I've already downloaded, right? Now, notice something very important. If you are using the uh, previous version of Hypercam, what will happen is, do you want to install an update to this existing application? Now, all the time, I do recommend the following, and I'm just gonna do it right now with you here again. So just press and launch the current Hypercam, then go here then up info then all the time you know what I do is just clear the storage all right just go back hit the uninstall uninstall the camera and now just go for a fresh installation so installing the hypercam release e30 okay we're gonna go back to that uh, I just wanted to say some nice words about the Brazilian Gcam scene guys. Yeah, I have been using this for a while and even I have subscribed to some paid apps which you can get apparently access to some XMLs and, and some presets and every time even there is a new camera like this, you know, they will just give you some information. So that's the one up called GB Club. Then there is the other uh, app called Profile Scan. Here you can download, you know, different um, again, ports for the Google camera and also the different XML. So for example, Hypercam is here. Um, just before launching the latest Hypercam, guys, let's just see also here. So Hypercam E3 download. Apparently it has been posted, I think just two days ago, right? So it's, it's very, very, you know, very fresh information. But now without further ado, let's just put the Hypercam E3 in my Google camera folder and let's run it for the first time. All right, allow Hypercam to take pictures and record video. Let's put allow, allow here, allow again. 
Okay, and now, oh, let's, Jesus, interesting. Let's go to more settings. First thing we want to do, guys, is go to Versau. And we can see here now, this is indeed the Hypercam E3. It is based on the camera single one, based on the Hix XCAM 6 Beta 11, one of the best cool camera and one of the most stable cool camera ports there. So even if, if you're a big fan of the cool camera 7, like I am, I'm using the Unix, I think now it's version 1.7 already, and I have to make a new video. This one probably is still one of the best around. Let's go in settings, guys, and let's review all the new features here. We'll start with the first one called image processing, gamma and tone mapping. Right now, the default options is gamma off. Apparently, you can go there and you can select a different gamma and tone mapping and you have plenty of options guys right now i will stick with the gamma off then you have also gamma level and curves and from here guys you can also you know uh, adjust you know the display settings like mid tone shadows shadow range i think that usually the safest thing to do is use an xml or just don't touch it right but if you know what you're doing and probably that's the place you can start saturation so from the saturation you're able to adjust highlights and you know, shadows for the back camera for the front camera and I think that's quite a nice option. Just here, friendly reminder, guys, OnePlus is not allowing you to change you know, the, uh, the, 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 the lenses without having a root and then a proper motor, right? So forget about that if you don't have a root. Uh, but anyway, you know, back camera and front camera can apparently just change all the highlights and the shadows and just bring it up, you know, to your taste. Now, then we have some fixes, guys. Usually don't, don't touch this, but if you have some problems, you know, with the night mode or with the focus, then you can always go to the fix menu and try to apply different fixes here okay the next one is the focus mode so i think this was also was mentioned into the change log but it's apparently something new and this translates when you go into the camera then you have apparently now uh, you have apparently yeah you can go and change the focus from here you see so now that's set to macro okay try to do it like that okay i think that's a volkswagen yeah indeed so all right you see we have also infinite focus we can go and let's try to shoot a macro right now auto focus doesn't work now if we press auto we're gonna go back to auto okay cool let's see yeah hdr's protest full uh, not not let me just try another one focus was not so good here probably was too close let's try to do it like that okay uh, that's a different thing all right <laughs> this is crystal clear going back to the settings more settings so this one here vignetting vignetting creates a, sh a shading towards the edge of the picture let's just compare it to pictures yeah honestly i'm not able to find any difference whatsoever except that the second picture is a little bit more on focus but okay you can test it um, for yourself guys so go back to the settings go more going to settings hdr parameters one of the best features for me because then you can apparently adjust how much frame the HDR plus algorithm is going to use and it's quite good if you probably just stick with 12 but I usually go for 25 15 is somehow like the sweet spot and we have auto exposure correction okay leave it like it is it should also have auto but okay they decided that that should be a nice setting correction night side okay should also have an auto here but okay it's uh, about one half so let's leave it like that exporter compensation that's quite nice if you shoot you know in dark areas HDR enhance out white balance from pixel 2 or pixel 3 honestly I don't like this feature so I turn it off always and now we can go to advanced any advanced we can see that we have boom a lot a lot of uh, many other features main camera uh, that is clear photo camera resolution okay advanced uh, resampling method razor final quality okay HDR control is applied enhanced HDR are very important guys for the portraits if you also want to use enhanced asia plus in your portraits that this should be enabled by default but i think that's the default setup if you don't want that a camera zooms in when you shoot a portrait then you can click on the remove zoom i usually add it uh, or leave it because i like it night sight all right some options for night sight optical image stabilization if you have a device like mine that supports that one roll and JPEG control if you want to have it. I don't need this for now. I have a video, okay, 4K apparently, that's quite nice. And also to video advanced, you can choose the bitrate, uh, also video stabilization there. You can also go and choose the new H265 codec, which is, I think, set to on by default. That is quite, quite good. Very important, Gcam configs. This is the folder, guys, where you can put your config files and load it. Enable Google Photo, this is always what I do. 
and then of course the grid type and then even more in advanced okay save location i always go for save location camera sounds if you want show the routine lens warning is something i also set in at the end of the day it does look pretty much like the previous camera guys but now further option has been enabled inside it and again you can now just go and i think safely change to the hyper cam release e3 also something important guys uh, if you go to the hyper cam page you should be able to download hypercam also for some other devices i will leave the page down below one last thing i wanted to share guys is how you can download the so-called custom settings which is actually nothing less nothing more but the xml file and install it so i'm using the gb club here and i told it's kind of the app that allows you really to browse a lot of xml settings for the hypercam so let's say i selected the onyx one go to redful article which i don't really understand too much but okay i'm just doing it now for the test i find the one that is made for the oneplus 7 so just download it okay the link is there initiate download apparently the file is there once the xml is downloaded you need to go in your file manager it's here so just select it press cut and now very important guys you need to find the folder where google camera is installed and that's gcam inside you have one folder called config and another one called config 7 so config 7 is usually used for the gcam version 7 so that means that we have to put the file into configs and you can see i have already a lot of xmls just paste it it's there onyx v11 now switch back the camera and in order to change or switch the xmls you just need to press here somewhere in the black area double tap not press double tap and let's go and select the onyx version one so restart okay the camera should restart and you can see here what is enabled and let's actually do a test guys so i'm just gonna shoot this part here okay see the, the skin tones in the colors okay it's not a human but apparently it is a little bit i think bright so let's use another one that i downloaded metroid black okay let's just restore that one which means that the settings are loaded let's try to use the same frame okay you see more more i think more realistic colors there is a little bit of a difference but let me show you something else if you go and select the hyper this one i think is an old xml i used on the r3 and if i shoot with it okay you can see the picture is really different uh, it is more vivid means i think more saturation is added to it so it's just it's not bad or good really it is up to you guys and it's up uh, you know to your taste so whatever you prefer right now uh, i'm going to use probably this one with the latest xmls that are meant to be used for the google camera e uh, hypercam e and guys i hope that you pretty much like the idea of the video uh, if this video gets 100 likes i'm gonna make more videos for hypercam <laughs> of course <laughs> it's a joke so Anyway, uh, joke aside, I really hope guys uh, that you like the video. If you like the video, just subscribe to my channel and you know, hit the like button. And I see you back for more. So enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.